Major lines today. For the first time, you can buy marijuana legally in parts of Colorado, purely for recreational use. Tonight, there's already talk of shortages and a different kind of after effect, new jobs. ABC's Clayton Sandell in Denver. Ready? Have your IDs ready. They lined up before dawn. We drove 17 hours to get here. Some sleeping in their cars. Well, it's a historical event. For a chance to be early through the door at one of the world's very first recreational marijuana shops. Even in Amsterdam, it's tolerated but technically illegal. 8 a.m., we're going to do it. Scoring Woo! weed now as easy as buying coffee. Sean, your total is $59.74. Anyone over 21 can buy it, helping fuel a Colorado green rush. We want to be the Costco of marijuana. In the first year alone, sales are predicted to hit nearly $400 million. This room is filled with about 25 different strains of cannabis. Currently. Shop owner Tony Fox is expanding and hiring. Today, she has nine employees. By the end of January, we should have about 30. Matt Brown started a company for pot tourists. He has 4,000 people on a waiting list. This is legal, this is real, and you can do this and have a good vacation and go home and not get in trouble. But not everyone is on board. Marijuana is still a federal crime. There are worries about increasing teen pot use and driving while high. Even ski resorts here worried about a family-friendly image are warning stoners to stay off the slopes. Here in public, it is legal. Here's your receipts. Other states are now watching to see how this new experiment works out as marijuana moves from underground to mainstream. Clayton Sandell, ABC News, Denver.